Hey everybody, Brian Mullen here. Uh, I'm working on my first uh, Moonlight experiment. Today is actually March 22nd, 2016. It's supposed to be a clear night tonight, so I figured I'd do it tonight. And maybe tomorrow if it's uh, just as clear. It's not too windy, but uh, what I've decided to do, uh, actually Mr. Thrive and Survive gave me this idea, was is uh, have my candles in a fish tank. Have this old fish tank to help uh, block the wind. And obviously it's glass, so it allows moonlight to shine through. And the idea here is that the candle on the left will be shaded by this piece of plywood, and the candle on the right will be exposed to the moonlight. And we'll see which one burns down faster if it makes a difference. Um, the moon will be rising over here above these trees to the east around 7.11 p.m. It's about 6 p.m. right now. So in about two hours I should have have a pretty solid moon. It's 99.6% full or something like that, so pretty much a full moon. And uh, just for record keeping, candle, the shaded candle is shoved into a 19 millimeter socket and the moonlit candle is shoved into a three-quarter inch socket. Three-quarter inch and 19 millimeter are actually interchangeable if uh, you're ever working on a metric or American-made car, vice versa. Same with 9 and 14 millimeter. Um, so yeah, that's the basic experiment. And uh, besides the candle, you know, how much the candles burn down, started thinking about this a lot. Put this back over here on my tripod, and uh, well, I thought the best way to do it would be to actually measure the temperature of the flame. And to do that, the only real way to do that is to have a thermal imaging camera, so I said, what the heck. I went out and bought one. Got a Fleur TG165. This thing is rad. Turn it on. I now know my roommate is not a robot. He does have a human heat signature. And if you can see that, I should have a normal human temperature in Celsius. So I'm a human being too, just in case you're wondering. But uh, playing around with this thing, I've uh, found that any area exposed to moonlight is always at least one degree Celsius cooler than areas that are shaded. Now it depends on what you're looking at. You know, you, you want to compare grass to grass, asphalt to asphalt, concrete to concrete. You can't switch between surfaces because they all heat and cool at different rates. So you really need something uniform. But uh, I've been walking around the neighborhood uh, in the evenings and early this morning playing with this thing and, and areas in direct moonlight are always colder than the surrounding shaded areas, always. It's uh, pretty interesting. I think it's something we need to uh, get some answers for because if the, if the moon is really reflecting the sunlight back at us, I don't understand how it could be cool. And then you get into energy flow and everything else. So That's the experiment. Uh, I'll be playing around with this thermal imaging camera and uh, seeing where we can go from here. This is just the first experiment. I'm not expecting too much from it, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, I should be uh, uploading some results in the morning. All right, till then, peace.